last few months of the summer were one of the like worst few months of my life. Probably I could say it was one of the worst days of my life. The, the whole journey felt just unbearable. Do I think it was the right decision? No, still don't think it was the right decision. It all started really when I um, finished my media course. Um, I did the um, BTEC National Diploma at Great Yarmouth College and um, had a passion for media and um, wanted to get a career in the media industry and I had proper goals and wanted to go to university and um, I had um, like a, a dream, I was just, I wanted to be a presenter and um, as the years started to go on, I mean, the, in the second year I started to lose motivation, I started to lose concentration on like my studies and stuff like that and it kind of like got me away from my dream and um, I lost focus really and um, I'd applied to go to university at um, Bedfordshire and um, that was my main choice and I had all my heart set on going, I really wanted to go. Throughout his um, last year at college, James was talking about plans of going to university and applied to the various ones he was interested in. Um, we got it down to a final choice of Luton and got details through for a visit. Uh, the first thing we did was to go to uh, Bedford for an open day to have a look around the facilities, to meet some of the tutors, look at the actual uh, um, course facilities that, that they were offering. Uh, it was a full day, we left Lowe's stopped in the morning, got back late afternoon. A very good day and in fact I uh, found it very, very impressive, the facilities. Uh, it looked a good place. Actual media facilities look spot on. I started to lose motivation and goals, and I started to really like sort of think to myself that I didn't want to be in the media industry. I found that I knew the comp like how hard it would be to get into the media industry, and kind of maybe got a bit lazy. That um, kind of lost motivation to want to do well, and um, just lost the desire to want to do anything in the media industry. So I kind of um, sort of. A lot of the work I started to um, get behind on, started to um, like slack, and then um, the last month I, I really told myself that I had to work. So I really, again, I still had the desire to want to go to university, so I needed the grades. And then the last month I did, I really tried really hard, put in so much effort, and I thought I'd got myself back into a position where I wanted to do well. And I thought this was going to be it. Then I was going to get the grades I needed because I knew that I did well. I knew I'd pushed hard enough in that last month to get the grades I needed and um, go ahead and go to university. On the day, James seemed very keen and enthusiastic about everything he saw. He gained uh, a good insight into what to expect from the year ahead there. We had a tour, we saw the accommodation and as far as we were all concerned, the day went really well. Um, we then seemed to have a period of time where not a lot happened really. The main concentration one was getting the last weeks of college finished and the necessary grades. The lack of preparation. I think it was fairly self-evident to me when I came home that, that there was uh, several things which were, were not not actually happening. I didn't think the finance side of the business, of the actual um, going to university had been organised well. Um, and clearly there was no preparation for student accommodation. We tried to sort out finance and accommodation but didn't really seem to be getting anywhere. And I must admit that at no point did I really see this as an indication that James was not wanting to go although I did feel that he was probably getting nerves. There seemed to be no efforts made or very little efforts made. I put this down in many ways to James being quite apprehensive about it as it was getting nearer and thought possibly that it was his way of dealing with that. started to think, well, I'm not going to, I don't really want to go to university, but I didn't really want to tell my mum and dad that because I didn't want to feel like I'd let them down and 
I just felt if um, I told them that they might be angry or because they'd already started buying me things like f like sort of they've been putting their finance like f their finance into my education. I felt bad for doing it, and um, so I carried on the summer kind of not thinking about it. I mean, not preparing myself to go, not really thinking. I just choosing to ignore it really. But um, I just knew that I wasn't right for me and I didn't, weren't ready to go and I didn't really want to go. And then of course we had the preparation work of, of, of that. At this point, I don't think I never had no inkling that James didn't want to go. <laughs> I think I was still <laughs> deluded to the point of where I thought um, we was actually going to go with this, get everything sorted. They started to get the letters through saying that I'd... Um, in my enrolment dates and um, all the details telling me what I needed to know and I had a definite place there. Well the day for going to uni came upon us very quickly. The first thing was the weather. It was a poor day. I mean it was one of those really hard, rainy, windy days. The whole way down on the journey I did not have a good feeling. Uh, there's a couple of things that, that for me I noticed one, I didn't think it was a good idea that James's girlfriend came with us on the day itself. I think uh, goodbyes are hard enough as it is without actually doing it at the point where you, um, they've got, you've got to drive back and, and uh, leave the person there. James seemed very upset and not himself and it was quite a stressful journey. Drive to Luton. No problem, we find the accommodation. We arrived about midday and got the keys to the accommodation and it was probably not the best light to see it in any way. We were the first ones to arrive so it was an empty block of flats and looked very gloomy. I travelled up there, moved my stuff in, everything and I just tried to really force myself to do it and want to do it. I mean, I stayed li literally, I mean, a day. I, as soon as I got there, everything didn't feel right. I felt like this weren't for me. Just backed up what I thought, that I didn't want to be there. And literally, a day after, I mean, I just, I mean, I came home, I rung up and said, I'm just coming home, I, that's not what I want to do. I was annoyed, I guess. Angry. Angry is maybe too strong a word. Annoyed. The days passed when James returned. I had a mixture of emotions about the whole situation. A lot of it was um, guilt myself for having somehow not prepared him enough for the day. It's one of those that, that you look back and think, if only or maybe if I'd done that, maybe this would have worked out. I knew that one day he may look back and regret that decision. I was more lying to them which was worse so in the end when I made the decision what I did was the best decision because it was me being honest with them and me doing what they want to do and at the end of the day that's what they're going to want me to do to do what I want to do so ultimately what I did wasn't the best thing because I lied to them and 